Hi there, Whiskey Hobbit here, and today is a little bit of a different review. It's a review of the Whiskey Show, which I went to uh, at the weekend, which was brilliant. It was really good, don't get me wrong, I loved it. Um, I just thought I would talk about it a little bit. Also, I've got a little sample of Dufton, uh, 12 years old, from uh, Whiskey Me, which was there, and they were just giving away free samples alongside the show as kind of their thing. Um, so I'm going to taste that. I, don't, I think I've tasted it before, but I'll taste it again. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of a summary of what I thought of it. It was very good. It was very good. It was difficult to... The, the, the only gripe I have with it was how difficult it was to get around within a day because realistically the only people who really appreciated it, I think everything there were people who got the weekend ticket. If you're only doing one day there was just too much. There was too much. You could only do about two thirds if you were clever about how you were going around each stand and if you were quick and that's it. Um, I went on the Sunday, which was really nice. Um, Saturday, I imagine, was very busy. Um, but, yeah, it was really good. Um, lots of interesting drams to try. Uh, some things I'm looking forward to coming out is the new Glendronic 15, um, the revival of the revival. Um, that's That was pretty good. I thought that was quite nice. Um, what else did I try that I liked? There was a really good bourbon I tried which was called Yellowstone, so that's very good, that's about £50. I thought that was very good. Um, yeah, uh, New Glen Farquhar, uh, 101, uh, sorry, 105, but 22 year old, it's like part of their special birthday celebration sort of thing. Uh, that was very nice, that's £150, but I, th I thought it was really good. It's car strength, 22-year-old Glen Farquhar, so it's not to like. Um, so yeah, no, really good, lots of interesting things. Probably my favourite thing of the event was the Ardbeg 1977. Uh, that was that was really good, yeah, that was really good. I mean, I tried also for the first time a an official bottle of Port Ellen which was just nice. It was a 17th edition, if you're curious. It, I mean, it was good. It was good, but it was... I mean, it, obviously, it's not going to be worth the money, but it was nice. Um, I'd happily drink it. Um, and the... Uh, I tried some Kurosawa, which is uh, a really interesting closed Japanese whiskey, which you probably know about. Uh, I tried a 31-year-old uh, Geisha... Um, bottling which was for the whiskey exchange one of 60 bottles that was very nice very fruity very sweet I, I don't think it's worth it obviously I mean it's got to be particularly spectacular and everything for me to think yeah put your name down for a chance to win this bottle and if you win it you have to then spend several thousand pounds it's like it's just nice it's really good I would have liked to have bought them 10 years ago, when you could still get them for not a stupid amount of money, you know, like maybe a few hundred pounds or less. Um, I think that would have been good, but there we go. Um, yeah, no, it was really good. Um, there was uh, always a nice stand from Whiskey Dot Auction, not promoting them, I'm just saying it's a good stand because you've got lots of interesting things to try. Um, I tried an old 12 year old Glen Glen Glasser uh, 12 year old which was done back in the day when they were doing 12 year olds before they closed and then obviously reopened um, but yeah that was quite nice it wasn't amazing um, quite pleased that I haven't bought any because I've been quite tempted by them because they don't go for too much at auction uh, but I, I wasn't that bothered I'm not going to get one but then again that was at the end of the show and my palate was basically destroyed I couldn't really taste anything um, so yeah uh, I'll give this this Dufton a little go I quite like the um, cap and the way it works ah, tap the car ok don't know what that's about ok yeah. quite a cool little idea um, so whiskeyme.com is quite a cool 
little uh, website where if you sign up, you, you pay them either, I think it's like you either pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee, I can't remember how it works, um, but basically you pay a little bit of money every month and you get a sample of whiskey every month. It, it was quite a good idea, it's just the fact that I know what I want to try and I know what I want to buy normally because I read reviews, I read things about them and I kind of know my own palate and what I like. Um, I think it's good to go to a whiskey show to try lots of different things and things you might be surprised that you like a lot. Uh, is there anything that surprised me? Not massively. Just the Yellowstone, I would say, for being just kind of a bourbon that I haven't seen before. You can get it from some places, but I thought it was really good. Um, and it's not that expensive. It's a good bourbon. The one, the things that kind of annoyed me about some of the bottlings, not, not with the show, but bottlings that I just thought, what's the point in that, um, were things like the Pappy Van Winkle stuff. I tried the 12 year old of that because I thought they had the whole range there. So they had the 10, 12, 15, 20, 23. And I'm really pleased that I don't like it that much. It's really just nice. It's the best way I can describe it. I tried that quite early on as well. So my palate was good. Um, yeah, it was just good. It wasn't particularly amazing. Um, was there anything else that was particularly good there? Oh, Ben Rick 12. That was nice. That's coming out soon. That's very good. Um, oh, and it, for a little bit more money, the Craig Ellicke, uh 17 year old. That was really good. Because um, I tried that. I've tried the 13 year old before. And then I also tried the 23 year old. And the 23 year old was just nice. It, it was a bit boring. It was just yeah, a bit bit nothing. Um, the 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 um, the seventeen was really good. It had quite a nice waxiness to it. It was quite sweet. It was not I don't know. It's just just everything was just right about it. It was yeah, probably one of my favourites of the show, minus the Ardbeg. Um, in terms of something that I know about, it's about ninety hundred pounds. Something I know about, but just haven't bothered buying. Um, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but yeah, that was good. I also tried a Uichi rum cask, which was just nice. Uh, it's pretty good. And also I tried, what was it? Um, a Bal Blair 1969 vintage. That was stunning. It was about a 42 year old, something like that. And it was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah. I really need to get a bottle of that if I can. <laughs> Stupid money, probably, but yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Okay, so on the nose, it's quite soft. Hmm. Mm. Minty, herby, watery. Yeah. It's like someone's trying to make me a really nice dinner and they've just watered it down. And it's, yeah. That's rubbish. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it, it's, it's pleasant enough. If I had to score that, on the nose, it's so bland. It's like slight hints of woody vanilla and tannins. A hint of spicy orange. That's about as good as it gets with this. Um, yeah, not really impressed. Mm. 
yeah, it just tastes yum. It doesn't, for a 12 year old, there's not much in there to taste. And what you can taste just tastes pretty sharp and spicy and hot. Ah. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> no, not, not to, I mean, whiskeyme.com I think is great. It's a great idea if you want to try new things, you maybe can't go to a whiskey shop every day, you know, like I do, <laughs> almost. Uh, and, and you're not really into whiskey hugely, but you like to try it quite, you know, regularly, but you're not mental about it. Not mental, but really intense about it. Uh, I think it's a good idea. Um, I'd be a bit disappointed if I got this in the post, but uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, I think I think it works well, but uh, yeah, good good whiskey show, good food, good tastings, lots of things to try. Um, yeah, lots of really good stuff. But um, if I'm honest, they did a rum show alongside it, so they sort of had whiskey on the ground floor then upstairs in a little compartment bit like a sort of hidden bit they had rum and it was sort of new and it worked well but it did mean you've effectively got effectively got like an extra 10 stands of which to sort of drink your way through and it just there was just too much it was just too much it was a little bit too bloated um I'm not saying I necessarily want to pay, spend more money to go to a rum show, although I would, that'd be great, but I think they're probably going to do that because they've already done the cognac show, which was very good earlier this year, and they're going to do that again next year. I think next time they do the whiskey show, it'll just be whiskey, and then they'll say, oh, and we're going to do a rum show. I, I kind of assume that from the fact that they said, oh, we're doing rum at the whiskey show, come try it. Uh, it was pretty obvious that they were kind of sort of testing the waters and seeing what people think. Um, it was very good. In terms of rum, there was a very good rum that I tried, which was a four square, 12 uh, year old, um, 2005 vintage. That was brilliant, really good. And actually all the four square stuff that I tried was very good. They do a Dominus, which is cognac cast matured, and a premise, which is sherry cast matured. All of them are lovely. Really, really good. Um, so yeah, that's my kind of chat, really, about the whiskey show. Uh, looking forward to next year, and uh, it was really nice seeing everyone and having a chat. I mean, I I work at Rumor Whiskies. I saw a lot of customers who I know as regulars, <laughs> and um, I saw a lot of people I know through uh, who work in whiskey, so yeah, always good fun. But um, I'm gonna drink this Dufton, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. <laughs>